Hmm, the lights here aren't on. That probably means I should screw with this. Yeah, you can also run into these guys. Again, I skipped ahead because it was a fairly long battle. And if I hadn't cut out some of this stuff, then the thing might be, have been three hours instead of two and a half. Again, I am often on the... the uh, I often err on the side of leaving stuff in rather than cutting it because, you know, I don't want to miss something that could be important. That didn't quite put the platform where I wanted. I think one more, one more, uh, m moving it one more time should do it, because there's something that will send it from one side at uh, 180 degrees to the other side. And I should have figured out by now that it's not the blue ones that are going to do what I want. At least probably not. Wait a minute. Oh, maybe that did do what I, because it looks like the platforms are all in the right places now. But it didn't seem to indicate that there had been anything moved. Yeah, so basically I don't know how this puzzle works. But I stumbled... I stumbled on the solution. And this is why you want to do that. This is why I went through all that trouble. Anyone who has played Final Fantasy games knows the awesome power of the ribbon. And you'll notice that its icon is gold rather than bronze or silver. That should tell you something. Yeah, this protects against all status effects. You are immune to them all if you're wearing it. There is one battle where that doesn't apply. And that's a very tough battle. Because it's against something that will basically petrify your party members and then shatter them. And there's no defense to the petrification. But that's much later. As in, like, no, chapter. Like, like, yeah, well, it's an optional dungeon. I'd say it's around two-fifths of the way. Um, the chapters are, like, the first three chapters are around the same length. Chapter three is probably a bit longer, and chapter two is probably a bit shorter, but they're approximately the same. Chapter four is is very short, and chapter five, if you're getting, if you're going for 100%, is very long. Well, because, like, you have to finish everything. And they save, you know, the, the most involved parts for the last chapter. Um, so, yeah, I'm roughly two-fifths of the way through the game, I'd say. I thought I might have this project finished by the end of the year. Now I know that that is not going to be the case, unless I somehow... You know, unless I start uploading every day again, and with my life the way it has been, that's not going to happen. I just have a lot more things I'm doing. Particularly my social calendar has been busier, which is a good thing, so. Yeah. Yeah. You're no longer a hermit. <laughs> I was never really a hermit, but I'm less of one. 
I went back because I realized I'd forgotten a couple of things. You can go to these thingies and climb up some chains. Why that's the method of connecting these things... Probably just because Square Enix thought it was aesthetically cool. Because it what? Oh yes, that. So these are some of the same idiots we fought before. Not the really powerful ones, though. At this, by this time, I've, I'm just like, no, I guess I was already using that against them before. Some of these guys attack, some of this guy's attacks will, uh, in addition to doing damage, will empty the ATP gauge of whoever they hit, which is annoying because it delays the next action. Oh yes, I didn't really realize this when I was playing, but I have far more than enough gil to finish paying Oaka's debt now. So that's one of the first things I'm going to do in Chapter 3. I think that's a fairly common accessory, but since it's in a treasure chest, I went and got it. Either one more item, or maybe I got them all. Oh, I guess there's one more. Yeah, it, it can be difficult to tell, like, which spoke of this wheel is which, but if the platforms are in place, then you can tell by which platform is closest to you. The platforms in the, uh, around the center of the thing, I mean, like, around that big pit into nowhere. You have to wonder how deep underground this place is. Although maybe not that deep, because it looked like in the beginning we were in some pretty tall building, so maybe the first levels of this were in that building. Like, above ground. Ow! Like, when my characters have gotten knocked out in this session, they usually haven't been, you know, that near death right before they were knocked out. They've just been hit really hard. I don't even have Riku in, in her proper dress here to kill this thing yet. Oh, because I'm trying to steal from it. Oh, that did some damage. It's hard to see in all the numbers from Trigger Happy, but that did, like, more than a thousand damage. Man, this guy's really beating us up. Yeah, I was being kind of stupid here. I should have forgotten about just trying to trying to steal stuff from him and, and just kill them instead. Things you see in retrospect.
Hey, at least now I'll be buying a bunch of stuff from Oaka. Because <laughs> I'm going through so many potions. This makes me sad. The last time I looked, the Orioles were ahead of the Red Sox. Now they are no longer ahead of the Red Sox. Oh, another pixel hunt. Okay, I found it. All right, now I'm finally going to the lower, low, the lower -er levels of this place. And fighting fiends in low places, no doubt. Oh, another one of these idiots. You know, here's why this session took so long. I had to fight so many of these guys. At least they have a lot of money. Oh, Riku actually doesn't have that many MP left. And each use of the Mech Destroyer thing is three. Yeah, like I said, you want to be careful how much MP you're using around here because it's so long between save points. What about Pew Pew? Yes. Or if you're an Earthbound, it's PP, pee -pee, which of course leads to all sorts of obvious jokes. Oh, yeah. So there's a treasure chest sort of hidden behind that wall there, hidden by by camera location. <laughs> Ha 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 ha, you'll be seeing that a lot, that immune thingy that, that just appeared around Yuna. Yuna don't care, she's immune like this guy. Very important stage being in the game. Alright, so that thing used an attack called Heaven's Cataract, and then I realized, wait a minute, that's the name of a blue bullet ability I can learn. I should probably get on that. Then I'm like, crap, Pain doesn't have Gun Mage in, on her Garment Grid, so she can't learn it this bad. I know! I'm like, duh, which one kills the flying eyes? <laughs> okay. It's not anti-aircraft, it's demon muzzle, I think. They're, they're demons, not undead. I feel like it fully works on this game. Yeah, not this one, I don't think. Or at least not especially well. However, the demon muzzle move does. thinking, why did I have Yuna in Songstress? Oh, wait a minute, I was probably just <laughs> going between other dress spheres. So Yuna and Riku did learn that ability now. 
we do know that ability now. I don't have to make fame armor some other time. Reminds me, I should look and make sure that there's another that with another blue bullet ability, I have not missed it forever. No. Now if only I could find a patient. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Actually, it says... that... Oh, alright. Yeah, I... Not only have I not missed it, I haven't even reached the point where I could have learned it. Yeah, there are, there are several blue bullet abilities that you can learn only at one or... only at one or two times. Definitely. Yeah, it is. There are also a couple for which you will need to be able to confuse the enemy because they are not things that the enemy will use on you. Those are the annoying Yes. It's weird though that the thing I'm talking about that I thought I might have missed. It is used against you in, in a coming battle, so I thought that it would be learnable there, but I guess not.